All right, how we doing folks? Drew here, and I'm gonna do a quick review on the Bore um, uh, Oyster Perpetual Date Just. I'm not sure if they still call it that. I know it's that that was the name uh, previously, and they actually had that on the dial, so um, I'll get into what this one looks like later. Um, but let me just check out the goodies this comes with. I got this for $145 on Amazon. Um, and I'm a Prime member, so I got the Prime uh, shipping and all that good stuff. Um, so this is pretty cool. It comes with this tool here. And what this is, is on one side it has a link remover. And on the other side, uh, let's see if I can get that to focus for you yeah so as you can see it's got like a little fork that's for removing your watch band or um, putting a new uh, you know watch band on um, so you know if you want to swap watch bands or um, you know have to do some service on your watch and need to take that out it's a really good tool to have anyway and then, then there's just um, Join our community, get a $5 Amazon gift card. That's, you know, they want you to sign up for their uh, Bore Watches VIP. And then this is just a card telling you to contact Bore if you have an issue or questions or anything like that rather than contacting Amazon. So let's get into the watch. Um, it comes in this small box, but it's fairly, fairly well protected. Uh, I did take out five links. I have about, about a seven and a half inch wrist. But here I just got the, uh, this comes in several different color combinations. I just got the um, regular black face with the stainless steel uh, polished in the center and it's it's brushed on the outside and you got this nice jubilee style bracelet, kind of super jubilee style bracelet. Uh, it almost feel, you know, the cool thing about these bracelets, it's almost, it almost seems like they stretch a little bit, but they, they don't, it just because there's so many small little pieces to it, it kind of feels that way and it also makes the band very very comfortable so uh, this is this is one of the actually this is the most comfortable uh, at least stainless steel watch band that I have worn so far uh, maybe actually these the com most comfortable one that I've worn period uh, including leather soft leather different things like that so this does have a sapphire crystal um, so that is really nice and these are genuine um, crystals on the hour markers and it's got it you know obviously the 12 o'clock it's got the Bore logo the three o'clock you can see the magnified date window it is two times magnification uh, I do not have the correct time set right now I just pulled this out of my my watch case, I uh, wasn't, I haven't been wearing it for the past couple days. Like, yeah, I, I like to kind of uh, match my watches with what I'm wearing, and and what I w wore the last few days wasn't, uh, didn't go with this. Plus, I have a large collection, so I like to switch it up. But uh, this is, this is, I've been really happy with this. It is a, I wish this would just stay. There we go. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm having a hard time keeping it focused. So uh, this is a 38 millimeter case size. It is a 20 millimeter um, band width. So if you're looking to get a leather band or a different type of band, then you're looking at a 20 millimeter. Um, I believe it is 12 and a half inches. Yeah, 12 and a half thickness, the case, case thickness. Um, got a really really nice style you know, butterfly style clasp which I really enjoy I think these are these are some of, some of the nicest clasps on on stainless steel bands and it has this nice uh, Japanese um, NH35A Seiko Japanese movement I'm almost 100% sure I, I'm like 99.5% sure that this is the Seiko NH35A it does not say it on Amazon it just says Japanese automatic movement but I have a 
couple other watches with the NH35A movement in them, and this looks exactly like it. So I'm fairly sure that it is. Got a screw down case back, and as you can see, a see through case back as well. So uh, let me throw this on wrist and show you guys what it looks like. It's highly polished all the way around, too, which is really nice. It's got a signed crown also with the Bore um, logo, just their little B. Let's see if I can, yeah, I should, probably should have done that before, but you could, you could see, you could see there's that, that B on there. And then this side's just highly polished, again, highly polished on both sides. Um, I love the, the, the polishing on the bracelet and then the nice, nice brushed look on the outside. Um, on the buckle here, you can see it's got the Bore logo, and then it says Bore. Um, $145, you really can't beat this. Clearly, this is this is an, uh, a Rolex homage watch. This is a Rolex Datejust homage, uh, and it's oops, it's pretty obvious. Um, it looks just like it. So they did a really good job, though, and, and for, for the price, um, I always say... If you're gonna look into getting a watch like that, uh, that's that's gonna cost you several thousand dollars, then you should buy something like this first and kind of get a feel for if you're gonna, you know, if that's the type of watch you want. So, really recommend this, guys. Really great watch. Uh, it does it does have a hacking feature as well, so um, uh, it makes it much easier to set the time set the exact time and if you're unfamiliar with what a hacking feature is it's when you pull out the crown if I can manage to do it yeah the second hand stops so much easier to, to set the time accurately set it up you know just link it or you know obviously set it with your phone to the exact time exact second and uh, you should be good to go these automatic movements, especially the NH35A, it may be off by a few seconds each day, but uh, that's that's normal. But very reliable, really nice quality material on this watch, and um, the packaging and what it comes with, the, the tool that it comes with is very handy. So I actually already had one, so I gave that. That's that's the one that came out of my watch kit. I gave the other, the one that came in the box, to a friend of mine. But they're the exact same tool. So that is my review, folks, on the Bore uh, Oyster Perpetual Datejust. And uh, hope you enjoyed it.